And when these atria contract, the blood pushes. And because I have a little bit of a delay before it reaches that AV node, which is going to begin to travel like this, okay, that means my blood gets to fill up my ventricles. Is everybody with me? So when the AV node fires, okay, oh, that's what they now call it, it sends it to the sub endocardial system. Sorry, you guys, I'm going to always refer to it as the bundle of pests, okay? Because it's that AV node fires and makes its way to that interventricular area with a whole bunch of my cardiac cells, okay? One of the things that happens, those fibers begin to move down and up, down and up. And as those fibers look like they're extending into all the tissue, we have our Purkinje fibers that are meeting the rest of these cells along these areas. So what we're going to get is the flow. I get my atria to contract first, let the blood move in. As the blood moves in, as that impulse travels, then my ventricles contract. So my atria contract first, and then the ventricles. That means my atria relax first. However, in the grand scheme of things, one contraction is less than a second, which is why when the heart beats, it looks like it's one nice fluid action, but it's each cell working independently. So when we get to the myocardium, which is going to be my cardiac cells, okay? These cardiac cells have their electrical activity that they have to do. Once again, simply movement of ions across a membrane. That's how it is in the entire body. Movement of ions. So what we end up getting is kind of a positive feedback system at my area of the SA node causes Basically, the depolarization. Now, here's a difference. I am very dependent in the heartbeat on calcium. I was very dependent on calcium and skeletal muscle because it took calcium for that release, you know, once it got released and the actin and myosin to function. I'm now dependent on calcium also. <clears throat> the job, help prolong depolarization. The delay. Meaning, from the right to the left, a little bit of a delay little bit of a delay to the AV, so these can fill, these can fill, for the to occur. Why? Why do I need these delays to occur? Marlesia? Oh, okay, so the the AR, the AR can fill up a bit more, and then once it's filled up, it'll fill up of the blood and pushing out are at normal levels and I have no backflow because backflow is not good. So 
in having that little bit of a delay, I am allowing for the filling of the, of the ventricle, of the chambers, all right? When I get the contraction that takes place, the contraction is actually a sustained contraction, even though it's less than a second because it's allowing for the ventricles to expel the blood. So, once the contraction, once that cycle takes place, look at what happens. In between is an absolute refractory period of one to two milliseconds. That means for every one of those heartbeats, it gets too relaxed in between. But it's based on milliseconds. Everything's based on milliseconds. If it doesn't get to relax, it doesn't get to start all over again. Stuff's going to happen to get it wrong. Take a break. Be back at 9.30.